What's going on YouTube? It's Harvey for Grenade here, and I'm going to be doing a little topic about the Modern Warfare 3 overpowered guns. Now, Modern Warfare 3 doesn't have that many overpowered guns to offer, but there is a little bit of a list that I've made up of the most overpowered guns, and I think they should be toned down just a little bit. So, here I'm using the FAD with the silencer and the red dot set and the snake camo, which looks pretty nice on it, but yada yada yada. I'm running specialist package, which I usually do run if I'm going for a mob, and I was going for a mob in this gameplay, but obviously I did not get it, because I only go 29, or 25 and 9, which by any means is not a good score, but anyways, here I kind of luckily get this guy, but hey, look at this. I turn around this corner right here, and uh, look what happens. He gets a payback with his MK14, which is the first gun I'm going to be listing as overpowered. Yes, the MK14 indeed, in my opinion, is overpowered. It kills in about one to two bullets if it's in the head, which is a little way too high in my opinion, or for my taste. I really think they should tone this gun down because I think in the beginning of Mod for 3 cycle, it wasn't that good, so Infinity Ward's like, oh, we should pump this gun up, and they did, and that's why more and more people are beginning to use it, and it's becoming more and more overpowered. Now, next gun I want to talk about is the MP7. Now, I know a lot of people probably understand that the MP7 is overpowered. I mean, seriously, the rate of fire along with the no recoil and the great iron sights is kind of way too good in my opinion but hey I like to use the gun a lot so I don't know if I'd really like it to be toned down but I seem to be killed a lot by that gun and I think it is a little too overpowered in my opinion so that's that gun. Next gun I want to talk about is the ACR and I know <gasps> probably your favorite and is my favorite in the game too but I think it does need to be toned down a little bit I mean for no recoil the damage is a little bit too high I mean it was a lot higher than Modern Warfare 2 where the ACR was my favorite gun there too but I mean, the ACR is just a little bit overpowered. Not that overpowered, in my opinion, but it's a little tiny bit. So I think they might want to slightly tone it down. If not, maybe just leave it alone. But it is a little bit overpowered. The next gun, in my opinion, is the UMP-45, and only for one reason, close range. I think it's really overpowered for a close range weapon. So I think they should either, because it kills in like one bullet if you're really close range, so they should tone that down. And last but not least is the MP9. And yes, the MP9, the secondary, should be classified as the primary submachine gun. I mean, it kills really quickly. It, it's a really versatile weapon, and you can kill people at really long range with this weapon. So I really think they should tone it down because I know I use it a lot, but it's not it's not super overpowered as the FMG9s were. But thanks for watching my commentary, and stay tuned and subscribe.